Hello, hello. How are you doing this amazing Tipsy Tuesday? Today, I wanted to come at you with some awesome tips to be a wonderful, wonderful host, okay? In case you don't know me, I am Tiara, aka T, your wine diva, helping you live a fun-filled and wonderful life, okay? And typically, I do my events for my business, I do them all like online, uh, virtually, like Facebook Lives, that kind of thing, but I also love to have people over for like dinner parties, game nights, and all sorts of stuff, so I wanted to give some tips that I think would work for both events and both kind of things so you can be a phenomenal host okay so my tip number one is timing like time is very important to everybody am I right or am I right right so time is great but sometimes I feel that we are so focused on finding a time that works for everyone that then we never have the event because it works for no one okay um, so Thinking about a time that works for you, whatever time works best for you is a time that works best for you, okay? So that goes for doing an event or, you know, doing going Facebook Live, whatever. So finding a time that works well for you, but because we're planning an event, I'd say give people about one, maybe two weeks notice ahead of time. That way for those busy, busy people that's calendars filled up, they have two weeks to know whether or not your event will fit their calendar. And then it's not too far in advance that anyone who might have like sports or anything else coming up in their life that they can, they already know what's going on. So they know what's what's going on in their life. So one to two weeks is a great way, great time frame to plan and start sending out invitations and getting people excited about your event. Speaking of invitations, tip number two is sending a personal invite. I love making Facebook events and like posting and doing all sorts of stuff within the Facebook event and it kind of gives people regular notifications, but if people don't hit going on that event, they're not going to get those notifications. So it's really important to one, make people feel special and that like you really want them there by sending them a personal message, a private message. You can send them a text, you can do the old school calling message. Method. You can also um, do like a voice message within Facebook Messenger or I know iPhone has it to other iPhones. You can send a little voice clip and say, hey, I'm super excited about my event. I really hope you can be there. Will I be seeing you there or whatever it is that you want to say or telling them why you think that they would have fun at your event and why you want them there, right? All right. So a little personal touch and making everyone feel special because doesn't it feel great? to feel special and be recognized individually, right? Yeah? All right, and then finally, engaging reminders. So this is where I bring in that Facebook event. I love Facebook events and posting one or two times a day within the event, kind of little reminders, little posts to get people excited, asking questions like, what do people want to, what games do people wanna play? What do they wanna eat? Um, what kind of wine do they like? And that kind of thing to kind of get them engaged, get them to feel a part of the event and get excited for the day of. So I hope this gave you uh, some great tips on being an awesome host and get out there and have some fun. Cheers, my love.